Here we are with the uh, finished Bridgestone project. Revitalization, disc brakes, new fork. Uh, but anyways, the main premise of the video is to follow up on the uh, Chaser retrofit disc brake adapter for uh, the rear dropout setups on older mountain bike frames. Or any bike frames, I suppose, but in our case, Bridgestone mountain bike. We've got her all completed and it works. It's ex very, very functional. Um, just a few points of contention on putting it on a Bridgestone frame. Just little things that we had to overcome. With the thickness of the dropout, the thickness of the caliber bracket, and the thickness of the IS adapter, Things are very, very tight for the rotor and the caliper alignment. I think ideally we would want the caliper bracket to be about eh, two millimeters more further out this way. But we made this work and uh, alignment's really good. The uh, cable actuation's really good and the pad spacing's really good. It wasn't perfectly aligned, but it wasn't bad either. I did have to or I widened the slot in the top caliper hole so that I could bring the caliper more vertical to the rotor this way. Uh, to set that alignment and the space being what it is between the rotor and the rest of the assembly, after this was aligned and torqued, I actually did have to actually uh, I had to file off this washer just a little bit because it was dragging on the rotor. But now there's clearance for everything. You can hear it's nice and quiet. We don't have any brake drag. Oh, another thing that I had to do just the way everything fits on this combination. The bolt head, let's see if I can get this. This bolt head right here which runs from this strut rod down to the caliper bracket. I did have to grind off about, uh, oh, I would say two millimeters there as well. I don't know if we can get in here and see this. It's tough, but it's right there. That bolt head was just about touching the rotor. Now, depending on what kind of bike you're working on, this may you may not have any of these problems. Uh, depending on the frame that you're working on, you may have even more problems. And in certain cases, certain frames, it this setup may not work at all, but we got it working. Very, very happy with the uh, finished product. It rides really nice. These are Avid BB7 calipers, A Avid rotors, real simple cable layout. You can see how we just came up here, a couple of tie wraps, everything's standard up that way up to the bars but yeah overall couldn't be more pleased with the way this bike turned out we've actually got a couple miles put on it just testing it out drivetrains all squared away um, got the new fork front brake set up obviously the same avid front brake that's out back the RST fork, the new uh, Originate headset, all this stuff turned out really, really good. We got ourselves a Ghetto 1x8 drivetrain. Works fantastic, shifts awesome. And uh, we went with a fresh pair of our favorite uh, cheapo Kenda semi slicks that are just fantastic for the kind of terrain that we ride in around here. A lot of asphalt and gravel so we've revived a uh, near 30 year old bike and I would suspect that this bike will live on for another 20 or 30 years so if you guys have any more questions on uh, 
using the chaser rear disc brake kit caliper bracket uh, by all means you guys know where to put the questions Let's see if we can peek through here so yeah like I said highly recommend this product well worth the 55 bucks and the uh, brakes like I said are awesome over and out.